Are you and your teammates struggling to get a ton of wins in the new season of Fortnite? If so, watch this video because I'm going to be going over how to win in duos Fortnite Battle Royale. Now the first step is making sure you have a drop spot and I will be listing some on the map right now. So this includes Breakaway because it has a lot of loot and not a lot of people land there. Kanzichu Crossing. And finally, where I'm landing this game, Mega City. Now, make sure you guys are landing somewhere that does have a lot of loot for both you and your duo. You don't have to land at any of the places that I marked, but just keep those in mind because those are really good places. Now, lastly, once you do find these drop spots, you want to make sure you're consistently landing there and not switching it up every game so you can actually learn where all the loot is located at. Now, the second thing you guys want to focus on is loot. So later on the game, I do drop this SMG, but this is a really good loadout that you guys should be carrying because the grenade launcher will break into people's boxes and that will just be huge because then you can get easy pumps on them. Another thing is impulse grenades are definitely better than rocket ram, especially since rocket ram only has three shots. Impulse grenades are also way quicker and you don't get beamed like you do with rocket ram. Now for heals, make sure you guys are carrying slap splashes because it first of all makes you sprint for a very long time. And second of all, it helps you and your teammate out. So that was very helpful. Now for your teammate, I would just recommend carrying an AR so then you can spray while you're grenade launching. So then they can just shoot while you're grenade launching and making sure that they are not going to be able to heal. Then also for heals, I would recommend carrying pizzas and splashes. Now this is just for the beginning of the game. Once you get later into the game, I would suggest going for either the forecast towers because they give you slurp and you get to the next ring. But more people do tend to go to those than when you go for catches and that's what i recommend doing going for catches and then you get slurps which are just huge now something very important here is you only want to have one teammate carrying the slurps since so a nerf where they only drop two slurps per teammate meaning you only get two slurps from catch so there's no point of you both carrying one because then that just takes up an extra inventory space that you can carry other heals with now my next tip is making sure that you guys are practicing communication in creative maps now, the reason you want to be practicing communication is because that's a lot of the reason you guys are not winning games. It's because your chemistry together is not good. You guys might be saying, oh, he's boxed, even though he's not. He's 1 HP. You guys got to be using better terms. Make sure you also are using the South, East, West, or North. Instead of just saying, oh, he's right there. I do it too. I got to start working on that as well. But me and my partner have been working creative a lot, trying to get our communication up. And has really shown in real games. Now, right here, we were super lucky to find another team's catch, so we got four slurps. By no means, you have to have four slurps. It is very helpful, but it's not that practical, so it's okay if you're carrying many slaps or just one set of slurps, but always make sure you at least have one set of slurps, because that'll just help you out, because it heals you still all the way to 100-100. Now, this right here shows you how good Grenade Launcher is. A lot of time when people do get grenade launcher like this, they start to panic, and so that's why it's so good. You can see this guy just boxing up, and then my teammate's just able to get an easy pump because he's worrying about me and not about the guy right on him. Now, this team was super sacked and had super slap splashes, and they had 18 of them. So we were basically unstoppable at this point, but at the same time, you guys don't have to have 18. It's like, it's basically impossible to get. We were super lucky here. Slap splashes are just as good. They just do... 15 less and they don't last as long but they're still super good so don't worry about finding slap super slap splashes if you can obviously pick them up because they are really good just as good as slurps now here's another example of us fighting and the thing that you can see and take away from us is we are always together in this fight we are never separated so if he runs then i go with him another thing is we fight one guy at a time so we're not both taking one guy because that's just a bad idea because then if he dies then i have to 1v2 or if I die, then he then he has to 1v2. So you can see I'm just spraying from behind and he's being more of a W here, which is what you want to do when one person has a grenade launcher. And then we kill both of them and then we get third partied. Now this is why impulse grenades are the best because as you just saw, I can just impulse out and be free. I would easily die because I would have been shot out of the air. So now we're in end game, and I have five impulses, and he has three. But you can hear me ask to make sure have, how many. Oh, uh, here, here, I can impulse in. How, actually, how many impulses do you have? I have three. All right, all right y'all, impulse in. You ready? Go. Another thing you can see right there is I ask, so then we both don't have to use an impulse, and we can conserve our impulses because because if we both would have used our impulses right there, we could have been out. So it's a very good idea to ask how many you have, and only have to use one impulse instead of having to use two. Right here is an example of me using the compass at the top. 
Picking north or snipers. Northeast. Left, left. Another thing is when your teammate makes a mistake, you can't get mad at them. You just have to stay calm and just remember it's just a video game. One of Who them. cares? All right, splash, splash, splash. What? Oh, no, that was a shot. There's a kid right here too. Crack? I get it, 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 it. I'm popping. I have slurps now. I have slurps. Oh my gosh. You went crazy. Yes, I need heals. I need heals. I have nothing. Wait, I have slurps as well. You can hear my teammate complimenting me after I do get that 1v2. And that just helps out a lot. Make sure you guys are complimenting each other after you make good plays. Because that just makes your chemistry even better and also your relationship. I'm going to let you guys just watch the last moments so then you know how we communicate. And also how we fight together. Cracked! 101! 101 cracked! They're fighting, they're fighting. W key, get on height, get on height. Oh, I got a kill. Kill this kid. White. This is game, this is game. He's white. Switch um, mats, switch mats. 39 white, he's solo. Yep, he's spraying. Dead. Let's go, Let's we're crazy. Go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. If it did get you at least just a couple more wins, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Use code AWKYT in the Fortnite Gump Shop. See ya.